Hi, you're watching the NoCaddy video series, part one, getting started. Before you run NoCaddy, you need to make sure it has permissions. So in your Windows Explorer, go to C, Program Files, x86, NoCaddy, and then right click the file nocaddy.mainclient.exe, go down to Properties, Compatibility tab, under Privilege Level, run this program as an administrator. Do the same thing for nocaddy.exe. After you've done this, you're ready to run NoCaddy. The first time you run NoCaddy, it should automatically take you into the settings screen. The first thing you need to do in the screen is enter your database information. If you don't know anything from here, the way you can easily obtain it, in Hold'em Manager, go to Options, Database Management, and a screen will pop up with all this information available to you in plain text. If you're using Poker Tracker, then you need to go to C Program Files x86 Poker Tracker 3 Data Config, and there's a file called Poker Tracker.cfg. Just open that file in Notepad, scroll down about halfway, and all your database information should be there, also in plain text. Once you've entered this information, you click Connect, and the rest of the options will pop up. You'll see that a list of your databases comes up, suffixed by which uh, tracker you're using. So for Hold'em Manager it's HEM, for Poker Tracker it'll say PT3. A couple of options you should look at before getting started is Add Notes for Hero. If you'd like to look at how the notes are taken based on your own play, you can check this. Add Multi-Threading for a performance increase should always be checked unless you're having performance problems. Show notification pop-ups when a note is created. You want to go ahead and uncheck this. What this does is it'll create a little pop-up in the bottom right like the ones that are created by messengers. This is useful for live play, but if you're doing your entire database, this can be kind of annoying. Next we hit save, and then we're going to go ahead and hit start, and we're going to generate notes based off of about 10,000 hands. As you can see, it's creating one note per three to three and a half hands, so it's creating a lot of notes. What we're going to do after it's done through about 10,000 is we're going to look at these notes briefly and we're going to get an idea of what kind of notes are taken and we're going to see if these are useful for us. So now to get a quick look at the notes that are taken we go to file, synchronize, export notes to text file and then it asks you if you want to export your manually entered notes we're going to click no. So now you'll see a list of all the notes that were created. We're going to look at Ace Hoffs. You can see there was a number of notes created for this individual. And we're going to look at these briefly. Three bets, eight, eight, ace, king suited, ace, king. So this is basically any three bet. Defends the big blind with king, six suited, ace, queen. Defends a small blind. Limp calls. Raise from the button with king, two suited raise under the gun with ace four suited, ace queen suited, and a few more. So based on these notes, I think you can get a good idea of how this player plays. And if you look at this player at an actual table, it would look something like this. You would just hold your mouse over the note section for hold a manager and you get this nice listing. And it would look pretty similar in Poker Tracker 3 but you see they're organized by street by default so we have most of the notes are based on pre-flop actions and then some flop and then even some on the river in the next video we're going to cover how to customize some of these notes thank you